launching my website. <laughs> similar fragrance. Who's paying a thousand bucks for, for braids is not me. God did his thing and I am forever grateful. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be filming my December favorites. Last month was jam-packed with vlogs, so I didn't get a chance to share my December favorites, but you guys know these are our favorite videos. We will always do them, even with the recent changes that are happening on my channel. So if you guys would like to see all of my favorites for the month of December, then please keep watching. Oh, okay, so first things first. This is my first content video like sitting down in this way filming in over a month so I am rusty it took me so long today to compose myself and gather everything to film a month's worth of videos because now that is what I'm doing so if I'm a little rusty please forgive me but I know you guys understand but I couldn't let January go by without giving you guys my December favorites because we love them oh so much. So without further ado if you guys like these videos which I know you do don't forget to like comment and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below which of these products you're loving or some things that you've been loving recently. I would love to know because I'm always looking for something new to buy. That's my problem. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with fragrance because you guys know that is like our favorite category. One of the fragrances that I loved so much in December was the Latafa Ish Al Shukia Gold and baby, 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 baby. Like this baby is so beautiful. So this is similar or likened to Rosendo Mateau number five or YSL's Baby Cat. Now people say that this is closer to Rosendo number five, which I do have a decant of and I would have to agree. This is not a fragrance that you can blind buy though. Um, I would describe this as an ambery, woody, caramel, rubber, vanilla. It smells like rubber. And I don't know why I enjoy that, but I do. I love this scent so much. It's deep, it's sexy, it's caramelly. It's just so yummy and beautiful for this time of year, but it is very unique. So if you don't like a deep, ambery, incense, maybe smelling type of yummy vanilla, steer clear. Uh, but I just find that it's different. I'm definitely in my vanilla era. I've been in it since probably... <laughs> September of last year, and this is such a unique one. If you like the Rosendo scent, I think you will like this. What happened was I was going to buy that one, and then I was like, let me see if I can find something for cheaper, because I love a similar fragrance. I enjoy original fragrances if they meet all my criteria, if they're long lasting, if they're different, if they just make me happy. Sometimes those boxes are not checked and I think a similar scent is just fine. I will say that I don't really like the bottle. I think it's kind of weird looking, but she's just so gorgeous. I can overlook the uh, physical appearance of the bottle because what's inside is what matters. And this is a vanilla stunner, but she's definitely not for everyone. Okay, my next fragrance I loved. We have a little black bottle thing going. <laughs> I love that. So this is Al Hedamain Junoon Noir. And this is actually another similar scent. This is very, very, very similar. Actually, it's 100% the same as Zerzhov's Dama Bianca. Whew. Dama Bianca is one of the most beautiful feminine scents ever. To me, this smells like fruits, powder, kumquat. This is a juicy powdered vanilla melony type of scent. It is so feminine. Like this is a scent that I could see a lot of women wearing on their wedding day. Now as for myself, if I ever get married, I'll be wearing Killian's Good Girl Gone Bad. But this is the epitome of a well put together feminine woman. It's a lighter scent, but this actually lasts, uh, heck of a lot longer than the original. That is why I picked up this version. Once again, I do not like the bottle. I think it's ugly, but sometimes I have to look past that. This outperforms uh, Dama Bianca. 
which is why I bought it because Dama Bianca is too expensive to last an hour or two. So I picked this up off Amazon for probably like $40 and it lasts a good amount of time. It is just such a juicy, sweet, powdery, feminine vanilla scent. Like so, so feminine. She's a pretty girl for sure. The bottle does not encompass the scent, I will say that. You are probably looking at this like, what, a super feminine scent in this? I know, I don't know why they chose this packaging, but it is what it is. Genoux Noir from Al Hedermain is beautiful and sophisticated and just lovely. My third scent that I was loving in the month of December is another kind of black bottle, and this is Diptyque's Dosan Eau de Parfum. And Dosan is a beautiful, sharp tuberose. It is a, it smells a little white diamond-y, but elevated and very sharp and bold and striking and classic and chic. This is like a scent I would wear to church, to work, if I worked in a traditional office setting, which I might be uh, soon, if you saw. Oh, period. I have Jesus, I will never walk alone. We love that. Sorry about that, but yes, this is a scent that I would wear if I worked in an office day to day because it's very classy, it's very elegant. It is a little strong, so I would spray sparingly, but this is a tuberose scent. It might have like a little gardenia in it, but this is tuberose. It's definitely like a fresh, green, sharp, tuberose that is just so so classically chic i love wearing this in the daytime in the winter i'm not sure why but this was a stunner for me for sure tuberose is not everyone's vibe i get it i love it it's a classically chic scent and this is that as well. Okay, now let's get into makeup. I do have a few things that I wanna talk about. One I cannot find for the life of me. Like I said today when I was getting ready to film, there was a lot going on and I have a meeting in an hour, so. <laughs> we love that, but I tried this lipstick and if you saw my Hawaii vlogs, then you have seen it. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen it. It is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Matte Lipstick in 04 Claret. <gasps> Oh, that lipstick is so beautiful. It's like a muted terracotta-ish brick red color, which I love. Also, the formula of those Bobbi Brown lipsticks, perfection. I have another one in my room that I just found in the packaging. Like, girl, we, you know, it, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but those Bobbi Brown lipsticks are amazing. I did receive that from the company, but I love it. It's probably my new favorite formula because it's smooth on the lips, it's cushiony, it's very full coverage, it's matte, but it's not drying. Now they are over 40 bucks, I believe, so they're very expensive. I will only be purchasing them on sale because who's paying over $40 for a lipstick when they have 100 lipsticks? Like, I just can't. But the shade Claret is beautiful. I will pop a picture on the screen, and I love the formula. So, shout out to Bobbi Brown. Okay, next product is this lip oil that you guys saw me use probably nine times out of 10 during Vlogmas. This is the Clarence Lip Comfort Oil in the shade Ooh, zero 09 chocolate. Now, I thought this would have a little more color than it did. If I can find a picture of myself wearing it, I will insert it, but I might as well swatch it. It doesn't necessarily show up looking chocolatey on my lips. I would say if you apply more, it will, um, but it just gives a beautiful wash of color to your lips that has more tint than I would say the shade Honey does, which is the first lip oil that I tried. But I love these because it is a very perfect get up and go throw on color. I like that. I mean, I love getting beat. I mean, not, I don't like getting beat like. <laughs> Please don't try coming to attack me. I don't fight. <laughs> She's never been in a fight. I don't wanna get beat, but she likes to get beat, you know? And this is just, ugh. I've never tried the Dior lip cushion oils because they're like $45. This is $29 and I got this on sale at Nordstrom. It was probably like 20 bucks. Love it, love it, love it. I keep one in my car, on my desk, on my vanity, on my bedside table because it's just a good, nice product. It is thick. It feels like an oil and a gloss combined, but it's not um, sticky. It's not tacky. It's just very thick and comforting. Not really hydrating per se, but it provides a nice little shine when you just want to look 
like you did something. So love, love this from Clarence. Okay, last makeup item is actually the lippy that I have on now. I seem to only break this out during the winter time and I don't know why, but I just find that it looks so beautiful with all black everything, which is what I'm wearing today. So this is the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the color 307. For the longest time, I thought they discontinued this, but then I found it for sale on Nordstrom's website. So hopefully it's on sale when I go to link it. But this is just a beautiful color. Now, what I will say is that I think they call these like a liquid lipstick. Just know that it does not dry matte. So as you can see, I do have some shine to my lips, but I kind of like that in the winter time, especially for a shade as vibrant as this because it's just so bold and shocking, especially when I'm wearing all black everything. And I just find that it looks really, really beautiful and it's not drying, so we love that. But it's definitely not something that's like smudge proof or anything like that, so just be mindful. These are just great and it kind of matches my nails. So shout out to Giorgio Armani, we love. Giorgio Armani. Skin care, skin care. I don't have a lot of skin care to share. I was mainly using my regular skin care and then I was traveling in December and the days when I wasn't traveling, I was being very, very normal. But one product that I started using again heavily was the Ula Henriksen Dutopia 5% Acid Firming Night Cream. I love this so much. They actually have this product in a serum formula as well. I think when I finish this, I will try that. This is what I call like a flash facial, but it's an overnight product. So anytime I get sick or life is lifing and there's a lot happening, the first thing to go is nighttime skincare because who wants to spend 10 minutes at the end of a hectic night piling on skincare? It's just not me. So I'm always the first to say that that happens to me quite often. And December was, she was a good month, but baby, she had peaks and valleys for sure. So this helped save my skin because if I didn't feel like doing a 10 step routine, which I don't always feel like doing, I was able to pop this on. So it is an exfoliating cream that's lightweight and hydrating that basically exfoliates your face overnight and you wake up to hydrated and glowy, soft, supple skin. So this contains AHAs, I believe, yes. Alpha hydroxy acids, which just help to exfoliate the outermost layer of your skin. This might be a little too potent for those with sensitive skin, but I don't have sensitive skin. I am acne prone, but I'm not sensitive if that makes sense. So I really like this. It's an all-in-one product. It's great for those who don't like to use a bunch of different products or people who are just so busy they don't have time for it. So Shout out to Ula Henriksen. I actually love a lot from his line, though I don't use too much of it anymore. Okay, now let's get into like hair and body care. Mm -hmm. The first product I wanna talk about, if you guys saw my Hawaii vlogs, then you already know. This is the Kapari Rose Gold Body Shield Sun Shield with SPF 45. This makes you glisten and glow and shine and look so beautiful and the scent is lightly of coconut and it is just yummy. I first fell in love with this in October when I went to Tennessee for like a little weekend getaway and there was like a rooftop pool. It was just amazing. This is amazing. I'll insert some photos and videos of myself with the product. I love it. There are lots of different products like this on the shelf. I think during that trip, I was able to try a Dior one, but that was probably like 70 to $100. This is a lot more affordable. I love my luxury, but not everything is worth it to me. And I like this just fine. It works really well. It's also a plastic container, so it's great to travel with. I did take this to Hawaii with me. Uh-huh, I sure did, and I used it every time I was outside because you glow, but you're also protected. It has a little bit of color in it. It's just gorgeous, and who doesn't like to glow and shine on the beach or at the pool? So I know it's winter currently, but if you have any uh, winter holidays coming up or if you just love a little shine and glow, 
Yeah, try this out. It's not something that I would necessarily use day to day, but for a pool or a beach, we love her. Okay, now on to hair products. So once again, if you saw my Hawaii vlogs or my content on Instagram, your girl had fake natural hair. I'll insert some pictures on the screen and I was loving it. If you guys don't know, I actually used to be natural probably, yeah, when I first started my channel. After a while, my hair just got to be so long. Like if you followed me back in my, earlier days of YouTube my hair was down to the small of my back yeah and it was natural and it was just too much and at the time I was living in New York and I couldn't find anybody to adequately do my hair so I got a relaxer but I love the look of natural hair and I don't think moving forward I'll be getting braids going on vacation because the girls in Atlanta want to charge you a thousand bucks and who, who's paying a thousand bucks for, for braids is not me. Like I said, there's some things I don't mind paying for, but a thousand dollars, I just can't imagine. So instead of getting heavy braids or heavy sewing, because I've gone that route as well, I decided to try something to give me that beachy look. This is the combo that I came up with. It's the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Leave-In Conditioner with the Function of Beauty Straight Hair Soft Bounce Texturizing Spray. So I received this product in PR and I purchased this from Target. This combo right here, yeah. Amazing. So if you have straight hair or relaxed hair, or you just want your hair to be more beachy and wavy, try this combination now. What I do is I apply the leave-in conditioner first to give my hair some hydration, and then I spray this texturizing spray, and I'm almost done with this bottle. I also like that there is a locking mechanism on the cap so that you don't have to worry about it spilling and transport because I, I flew 10 hours with these in my bag. Yeah, um, the combination is great. You can use this in your hair without braiding it, but it won't be as defined. I find that when I use this in my hair and braid it, it looks more defined. So this combination is amazing. Shout out to Function of Beauty. Thank you so much for sending this to me. And shout out to Design Essentials. This combination was perfection. Now I want to get into miscellaneous things because I have so many things to talk about from December. Fashion for December, shackets. I was obsessed with a shacket. I will insert pictures of the two that I wore all month. I'm actually still wearing them. I love a good plaid shacket because I run very hot. So even when temperatures get very cold here in Atlanta, if I'm not going to be like standing outside or going to the Atlanta Botanical Gardens like I did recently, I won't put on a full on coat because when I get to my destination, I'm going to be sweating and I don't like to sweat. So a shacket is perfect for me. Also, when I wear my shackets, I get so many compliments and I'm always a little taken aback because I'm like, ma'am, it's just a shacket. But People really are interested in where I get them. So I have one shacket that is like brown and tan and I purchased that from Princess Polly. Actually, it was gifted in a brand deal a few years ago. I don't know if it's being sold anymore, but I did get it from Princess Polly. It's oversized. That one is a little more lightweight. And then I have one from Shein that I love. It's a bit more heavyweight. It is still long. It covers my bottom, so I can wear it with leggings when I'm just running to the store. And that one, they're always really asking about. And it's Shein. And that jacket is actually very high quality. Shein quality, you know, it can be hit or miss, but that's actually amazing. It's soft, it's comfortable, it's plush, it's oversized, so you can still layer under it. And I love it. Okay, the next favorite from December was Vlogmas. I have to tell you guys again, I mean, I know I told you during December, but Thank you all so much for just making my December a little more bright. December was a crazy month for me. Um, I was vlogging every day. I took a trip to Las Vegas. I had my first speaking engagement. Um, then I went to Hawaii for a week and there was just a lot going on. And when I came home, life didn't stop being crazy. So you guys spending your December with me for Vlogmas was truly a highlight of my month. So once again, just thank Thank you all so much for your unwavering support always and just for being 
like a little glimmer of sunshine during my days. I enjoyed interacting with you guys every day. It really gave me something to look forward to. And if you saw my last day of Vlogmas, you did see that I will no longer be doing Vlogmas moving forward. But thank you guys for so many years of Vlogmas. I think Ooh, since I started vlogging on my channel, I have done Vlogmas every single year. And ooh, you're not a content creator. You don't shoot long form content. You may not understand the Vlogmas struggle, but there is a reason why your favorite YouTubers no longer do Vlogmas. It is a lot. I just can't commit to it anymore. My life is changing a lot and I really just would like to have my December back, but I always enjoy Vlogmas because it's so much fun. So thank you all so much for helping to make my December such a success, truly. Another favorite of December was launching my website. <laughs> I still can't believe that I have a website. When that payment hit my bank account this month, I was like, oh, what's that for? Girl, your website. <laughs> um, my website is something that I have wanted to launch for probably two years now. For two years now, I have owned the domain and I just never did anything with it. I'm the type of person, I'm not spontaneous. I'm not spur of the moment. I have to think about big decisions for a while. And it wasn't that I didn't want a website. I was just like, what is the purpose? Uh, but then you guys started asking for courses and you know additional things that I could add to my Keiko Beauty lifestyle brand so I did launch my website I actually launched it while I was at my church's conference in Vegas the day that I gave my very first speaking engagement so um, the reason why I launched it so quickly was because I created my very first master class which is also wild. So that's another favorite of the month. And this is a masterclass about finding your identity through God. So um, I'm definitely not going to be like changing my channel in the direction of faith because this will always be a life, this is my lifestyle brand, but part of my life is God and that's never gonna change, praise the Lord. So um, if you're interested in learning more about finding your identity through God, then check out the masterclass. It is available for $97. Creating that course was actually so fun because you guys said that you would like me to create courses for you so it was kind of like my introduction into that avenue I am a natural teacher by <laughs> destiny I guess. Um, I love teaching. I love imparting knowledge. I love sharing my expertise and my just individual experiences. So um, finding my identity through God has been an interesting journey for myself. But if you're interested in how I was able to find who I am through God's eyes, then check out that course. I don't really um, promote it a lot because I didn't make it to make money. It was a component of my talk in Las Vegas. And so I just wanted it to be be an additional resource so if that is something you're interested in check it out but yeah I'm just so so thankful so that is another amazing part of my December as well and don't you guys worry the makeup it's gonna be a master class but it's going to be a live class that's coming uh, January just hit me like a ton of bricks, literally. So um, there are lots of things that I would like to do in conjunction with my website and my beauty brand and my lifestyle brand overall this year, but <sighs> life is always laughing. But those were definitely two highlights of my December for sure. And the last thing would be my trip to Hawaii. So if you guys have not seen those vlogs, I will link them down below. I truly had the most amazing time. So once again, shout out to my father. Like I said in the vlogs and on Instagram, I'm not someone who's like, I always have to be passport. Like I like to be at home. So I'm not a girly who likes to travel and have vacations but I do think it's important and that trip was a family vacation that we took all together with my whole family and um, it was just amazing there were a bunch of us and we just had a great time and I said in the vlogs like I never thought I would make it to Hawaii number one the flight is 10 hours and it's expensive I'm also a big girl so I was like if I'm flying to Hawaii business class me down so 
Thank you, Daddy, for uh, allowing me to experience that as well. I just had so many firsts during that trip, and I went to my first luau, and I saw volcanoes, and I saw beautiful mountains, and it was just the vacation of a lifetime. Definitely like the highlight of my year, actually. Yeah, those vlogs are there if you guys would like to see them, but like, I'm not someone who has a travel bucket list. I can take one vacation to Florida a year and be satisfied. So like that, just truly that experience. I'm just so, so grateful. So pretty much um, my December in review, God did his thing and I am forever grateful. Uh, December was a mix of all things, but we did experience so much greatness and I am so appreciative. So thank you all so much for being a part of that. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed my December favorites. Stay tuned. In a few videos, we will have my January favorites. Thank you for being you and for all your continued support, especially as I pivot with my channel. Thank you guys for just appreciating me and my content for what it is. So I'm going to get out of here. I have three more videos to film, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.